Would you like me to go around and get the rest of your stuff? No, I'll get Declan to do it. At least he's there already. If you go around, something's bound to kick off. I've had enough drama, thank you. Egg and bacon, mate. Or are you uh, more of a cocoa pops man like me? I'm going to see Belle. Come here. I heard you in the night. So? Do we talk? What about Nathan? The fact that he's la like everyone else around here. He'll be fine. Will he? He's a kid. They, they bounce back. We were supposed to be moving to London today with Nathan. We were supposed to be having people over to toast our new house. I just felt like things were finally starting to get sorted. Try not to worry. Nikhil, we're homeless. No, you're not. You're here with me and you can stay as long as you want, OK? Morning. Hi. Hey. How are you feeling? OK. Is it all right if I have a shower? Yeah. Help yourself. Staying long, are they? He probably hasn't had time. We promised. Mm. I bet he'll phone later. <laughs> Don't want him to phone later. I want to see him now. Can I go around there and see him? <clears throat> Please. What about school? I don't care about school. He's my best friend. Hey, up. Don't even get a kiss. I thought you weren't coming. Don't have to be sad. I told you we'd come visit. We're not going. Why? Nathan and Maisie fell out, so me and her are staying at Nichols. Forever? I don't know. Maybe they'll make up. They won't. Well, I'm glad you're staying. Really, really, really glad. <laughs> I hope you're going to clear this up. Will you get out of my face? It's lucky there was a recorder in the house, isn't it? When Ryan popped over. You're so clever, don't you? You just couldn't stop yourself, could you? And now it's all on record. I'm surprised you're here, actually. I thought you'd be in hiding. Well, why does no one believe me? I was having a, I was having a laugh at his expense. I love it's true. I tell it to the jury. The removal men are here. Oh, um, give us a shout if you need anything. So, you best get your skates on. Oh, hang on a minute. Is that a police siren I hear in the you distance? You know what this has done to Will and Maisie, don't you? Well, they're free of you. They've all I've got. All you had. Now pack your bags and get out of my house. <laughs> it's getting worse instead of better, isn't it? She's just having a bad day. It don't make sense. Can you get her a hot drink? Mum, please! Well, maybe we should phone somebody. No, it'll be fine. Mum, please! What's wrong with her? John, just go. I can handle it. Go on. <laughs> Calm down. I can't. <laughs> Shh. Mum, please. I can't stand it. Make it stop. Make it stop. No, Holly. This wasn't the deal. I can't bear it. Oh, God, what have I done? Ah, come to collect your 40 pieces of silver. Has somebody been slacking me off? Well, it's a bit below the belt, isn't it? Hello, he's not trying to evict her, OK? He's actually offering her good money. Traitor. I give up. Oh, that's the point, you never do. So we Lisa? Oh, probably some hours back. Now then, about a certain property. Oh, yeah, you've got some news. Good news, actually, yeah. I'm getting warm. Well, they've either said yes or no. They're slowly coming around to the idea. I planted a little seed 
and now it's time to lead them bit by bit. But it's going to cost. <laughs> You're on a fair whack as it is. No, I'm talking expenses. See, what I want to do, I want to take them out for a slap-up meal, wine them and dine and play them with booze, taxi back. Why should I pay for that out of my own wages? OK, so how much are we talking? Mm, call it 500. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Thanks. But the answer's no. You can take the entire family out for a meal once we've signed the deal. They can stuff the faces with as many burgers as they like, but until then, there is no more money. What's up? You were right. She hasn't getting better. So I'm, I'm going to go to the clinic and ask their advice. Shall I sit with her? Oh, no, don't. Don't wake her. I've just managed to get her to sleep. That's why I'm going now, so I'll be back before she wakes up. Do you want me to come with you? No, you just carry on with what you're doing. I'll be back as soon as I can. You sure you don't want me to sit with her? John, no, I just said so, didn't I? <sighs> I'm sorry. It's fine. You get off. made a big mistake. Yeah, I know. I should have done what I did yesterday, months ago. Still, I'm, I'm cottoning on, slowly. Finally mastering the family art for setting people up. Can't admit it, you, you're a little bit impressed, aren't you? You're going to regret this. I don't think you're in any position to be making threats, do you? How's it feel to have someone else pulling the strings for a change? It's not nice, is it? Especially when that person hates you. Why don't you come inside and we'll talk about it? So I just phoned the police, shall I? No! No, you see, if you were going to call the police, you'd have done it last night. Maybe. Or, maybe I want to see you sweat first. My mum's admitted it. She was lying. She's being convicted. Whatever you got on that tape, it's irrelevant. <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong, you see... The police do not like being made fools of. Especially not Detective Sergeant Henshaw, I mean. Never was your biggest fan, was he? So, like I said, you plead your case, or I'll play them the recording. Bridesmaids. I'm not Katie Price. I'm your sister, Eve isn't. Yeah, yeah, Scarlett told me. I only asked her yesterday. Oh, that girl has got one hell of a big gob. Look, leave it with me, yeah? How do you mean? Well, I am the wedding planner. So scoot. All oh, right. Thank you. <laughs> what was that all about? Make a day. Tell her she can be bridesmaid. In fact, tell her she can be chief bridesmaid. Who cares? There isn't going to be a wedding, is there? And anyway, the girl's going to earn it. Come again. I picked up a wedding dress online, haven't I? Cheap. No, it can't look cheap. It isn't going to pee brain. That's where Jenny comes into her own. Hey? We should go with the needle, isn't she? She can customise it. So, the dress costs 70 quid. You tell Carlotta, it cost two grand. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. If it was up to Jimmy, he'd be having it in the wool pack. Well, that'll be fine by me. Yeah, but not fine by me, strangely. So, any clues? <sighs> Nothing that involves lampposts. Oh, give me some credit. Will you tell him? A stag do is so important, it sets the tone for the entire wedding. I'm going for my lunch. What's up with her? Oh, probably put on a few pounds. Carl. <laughs> Could I have a word, please? Sure. In private? Fine, I'll go get my bag. Oh, I'm not going to let you down, I promise. Oh, I'm so excited. There we go. Look at that. One excited little bunny. Uh, what's going on? You are looking at Jazz's chief bridesmaid. Oh, I've got to tell my mum. <laughs> oh, right. Let's hope she doesn't spontaneously combust before the big day, eh? That is one very excited person. She's my sister. I'm sorry. Well, it's your wedding. I was going to ask you to do a reading. Yeah, well, remind me of the time, eh, because I might be busy. Don't be like that. Oh, I'm joking. I'd love to. 
Thank you. And what's up with you? I don't know why I'm bothering even getting married. I seem to be upsetting everybody all the time. Well, there is a solution. Yeah? Why don't you call it off? <sighs> he is going to be a problem. How do you mean? We've only just got clothes, haven't we? He's going to hate me when he finds out I've been lying about this. He should be in on it. No way. He's my son. What if he tells Jackson? They're not even speaking. Yeah, now they're not. But what if they make up? He tells Jackson, Jackson tells Hazel, Hazel tells Viv, and before you can say big fat gob, the whole village knows, including Carl. Do not muck this up. You seem a bit uptight, Edna. What's up? Come on. What have I not done? It's not a matter of what you've not done. It's about what you have done. Are we talking in riddles today? Eve tells me that you and she have been having a relationship. I am so disappointed in you. Yeah, well, I'm not so proud of myself. I doubt if your father would have been proud of you either. <laughs> well, I don't know. Probably would have got a pat on the back. He hated Chaz. Please don't insult me by trying to make light of the situation. So what are you going to do? If you mean, am I going to tell Chaz? The answer is no. But please don't think I'm keeping quiet for your benefit because I am not. And a word of warning. If I discover that you have... You won't, you won't. And that you won't. I swear. It's over. Should never have started in the first place. Goes without saying, I shall not be attending the wedding. So you're going to phone the police or what? I don't know, man. I've not decided yet. Yeah, you know, I don't even know why I entertain this. No, I do. It's because you're scared. And you should be. Why don't you beg? I'm serious, man. It's worth a go, isn't it? Go to hell. Nave, come... Why do you have to say that, man? I'm going to have to find the police, aren't I? OK. OK, OK, right. I'm on the phone. OK, look, I'm begging, OK? I'm begging, Ryan, please don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, get out, you muppet. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but there is a way that we can resolve this. Do you want to hear it? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, please. Sit down. Sit. OK. I want you to take every penny that you've got everything that you've gained, and I want you to put it into a trust fund. Who for? For Will. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'll have nothing. Exactly. Yeah, but how am I going to live? Get a job. I, I don't understand. What's in it for you? The satisfaction of knowing that I'm hitting you where it hurts. Well, maybe, maybe I could take a share of it. No, 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 no. I want all of it. Every penny. Or I go to the police. You don't have a choice. Right, I'm due back at the garage in five minutes. I'd better be quick then. Yeah. So come on then. <laughs> Are you trying to wind me up? No. Right, we'll spit it out then. There's not going to be a wedding. Eh? Not a real one, anyway. What are you on about? I'm dumping him at the altar. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a joke. Right, well, not that I'm against it or anything, but what do you want to do that for? He's cheating on me. You what, with who? No one you know. Look, the last thing I need you to do, right, is go off on one. This whole wedding is about fleecing him. Empty in the pot, so I don't need you to say anything, OK? <sighs> OK. 
Are you all right? Me? Yeah, fine, never better. Charity's in on it and all. Oh, I'm honoured. You're my son. Yeah, well, there is that. Do you want a hug? <laughs> Why is your phone switched off? Been trying to get hold of you. Why? What's happened? Nothing. I was just wondering where you were. You've been gone for hours. Oh, sorry. So what did they say then? Who? Hey. Clinic. Oh, um, well, they don't condone what we've done, but they understand. What about the state that she's in? It's all pretty normal. The drug leaving her body. I'm going to see how she's doing. Is Maisie in? She doesn't want to see you. No, I think she'll be interested in what I've got to say. Tell her I'm here. Can I help you? Look, I've got to see her! What do you want? I need to talk to you, it's important. Look, I just told you, no. Please, Maisie. It's fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Just give us a minute, OK? Thanks. Just say what you came to say and then go. But we can make this work. I'll put things right. You can't undo what you've already done. Really? Do you truly believe that? Because I've already made a start. Oh, enlighten me. I've decided to sign everything I own over to Will, every last penny. And why would you do that? To prove to you how unimportant money is. I can hardly believe it myself, but I am stood in front of you penniless. Do you know what? It feels amazing. Truly amazing. I feel like a changed man. That's funny, because you sat <laughs> the same waste of space to me. You come on, I'll you to the car. Maisie! No, you go near Will or Maisie again, and I swear to God, I'll go straight to the police. Do you understand me? And if he doesn't, I will. <laughs> Get in the car. I don't want to move. I know, I know. Look, all I'm saying is, if you had a look around, you might change your mind. You are always complaining it's too drafty. Imagine having underfloor heating, you know. All mod cons. Do you not beginning to think she's on Jay's payroll and all? Right. <laughs> I'm going in, it's freezing out here. Hey, up! Oh, it's my nearest and dearest. <laughs> I take it you're Zach. Oh, you must be Derek. Last time I checked. Oh, I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> we'll have to go for a pint sometime. Oh, chuck the words right out of my mouth. What are you doing later? <laughs> now, will you stick that up in the factory? Oh! Where'd you get this idea from? Well, I got a phone call off Numpty Norton, his van had brought down. Oh, what's new? So I guess who's been delivering Christmas trees all day? Uh -huh. <laughs> Made myself 65 quid. Oh, all right, hand it over. Hey? I'm not having you go to the pub with 65 quid in your pocket. Mm. Drop in the ocean if you'd have won that 50 million. Tell me about it. Folk like us don't win the lottery. Give. Here. Hey. <laughs> Should have kept your gob shut, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the van? I sent it away. So where's all my stuff? In storage. You're a very lucky boy. Apparently, you and Ryan struck a deal. So I really have nothing? Yep. And do you know what couldn't have happened to a nicer chap? Keys. And the car. OK. 
Okay. All yours. Pick them up. Pick them up. Thank you. Now, Thank move! You. All right! Do you know what? You've earned this moment. But I'm going to relish it. Get lost. 